Okay, transit complete. Okay, then go next. Yes, this, this. Park brake on. Seat adjusted. Yes. Harness secure. Aileron stabilizers. Timers. creaked a little bit yeah wants a bit of wd-40 on that it's going to have a check today so we'll uh -huh. get them to uh, grease it flaps up the box battery must have time to switch on good rotating beacon on Fuel selecting lowest down right. Right. The noise. I was just going to say it hasn't started. Yes, lows, yes. Just sometimes just tap the glass. Yeah, I listen for it. Yeah. Fuel pump check. Yeah, pressure goes. Carburetor yeah. heat check. Off. Avionics now off. The switches off. Good. Um, Servo brackets all in. Start check. Mixture reach. Throttle. Four blips. Four. And when it's when it's hot, you just do one. Mm -hmm. uh, prime. Yeah, it'll, need, it'll need six primes. Six. On this aircraft, that is, yeah. Clear prop. Start. Okay, release. Hmm. Oh, again, yes. Radio was nice and clear, but louder than you. Okay. Okay. Now magnetos check. Left. Yes. Right. Light instruments check. Uh, three and when you need the standby brakes. That's right.
obstructing what uh, you are doing if yeah, the engine fails or anything goes wrong. Yeah. Yeah. The door open yeah. to anything goes wrong, to yeah. anything yeah. Goes wrong yeah. up to 60 yeah. knots, I'm going to stop the aircraft by closing the throttle, putting the brakes on. If I've just got airborne, I'm going to try and land back on the runway. If I can't, I'm going to land in that field up there. Mm -hmm. And after 400 feet, it's a standard engine fail procedure. Okay. Does it any harm or always heavy? Only in sub zero temperatures. Only sub zero, okay. Mm. Landing line will put on. Okay, mm. transponder. And the transponder then oh, okay. pull up to the line and we're ready to go. Yes, flaps engine landing. Okay. Good. Okay, uh, go to holding line.
with a lot when uh, oh, M1 was in repair. Absolutely, <laughs> but there it is, that's the A5. Mm -hmm. And that is a good lap bar. Uh-huh. Down there is a bit of a good turbo key. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Or whatever they call it. Yeah. Sky if I get lost, I always can fly to Milton Keynes and recognize where I am. Got it, I know so it very yeah, well. Good. That's up there, that's Northampton. Uh -huh. So yesterday I flew away like up to there where this uh, uh, white building is. That's good, that's fine. You enjoyed it yesterday? Yes, yeah, absolutely. I was only a bit scared when I recognized that the uh, circuit changed. <laughs> I had to mental do the overhead joint. That, I wonder whether you'd have that, but I was on the radio when it said help this one. He didn't think, no, I saw you coming over when you did an overhead joint, that was good. Yeah, but I was a bit scared and had to fly back just to give myself think Correct. how I am going Absolutely. to do it. Absolutely. When you go somewhere new, just always stay in the overhead at 2,000 feet. Keep going round and round in circles until you're positively sure you're doing what the right thing. Mm -hmm. Because if you get it wrong, you'll be coming head Exactly. On. That was, that's why I was afraid to get closer that's before right. I completely figure out myself what I'm going to well, do. I didn't expect them to change the wrong way. Right now you've got another nice line coming up now. Now this is the main railway line from Northampton going down to Euston. The main lines are always in the black line. This is why I want you tonight, I want you to read the bottom of your map, read mm -hmm. the relief so you know all what these circles and bits and pieces are. Mm -hmm. Alright? Yep. So it, it looks like M1, I see the gantry. No, yes, it's yeah. or is it railway? That's the railway line. It's yeah. railway, okay. okay. The next one is the next one is coming line. along mm -hmm. is the M1. Yeah. It also tells you on here, if I put that to 15 miles. That is superb, that is superb. Really are doing well. Uh-huh. 
that is Paddington. When you get closer to it, you'll see it's the Santa Pod uh, Raceway. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, and there is smaller wind farm and then larger wind farm. That's it. Yes, a small one. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's got three, the one with the three on it. The big one in the distance is uh, this one up here somewhere. There it is. Oh, okay. See it? Because that's too far away. Now, how far away would you think the INL from Paddington? I don't see it on the map. On that, that distance is 10 miles. Mm -hmm. So if you're from there to there, you say that's about 5 miles. Okay, but I don't see it on the map too, but... Because I see this one, but there is no sign right. for that one. Absolutely. Have you seen the web farm? Yeah. That's it. Not here. Yeah, I crossed it by the line. effectively uh, Poddington, right? Uh, yeah, that is. No, uh, Poddington. Yeah, Poddington is a village. Oh. It, it's literally that little tiny one just there. Uh-huh. Yeah, farm is yeah, here, so yeah. Poddington is this. Uh, this, this. This village here is called Hell. Oh. It's not on the map. Uh-huh. But Poddington Airfield is where the wind farms are. Can you see the big old big expanse of airfield? No. Oh. Yeah. And you've got, you've got Santa Poddington. Yeah, I see the parking there. Yeah. Now down there there's a big town, that's Bedford, because it's down there uh -huh. on our 2 o'clock position. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, well in, no, uh, Bed ah, it's Bedford. Bedford. Uh -huh. You'll see what they're in a minute, because that's up there. Poddington must be the small one near the uh, park, right? Or, or the Pod next one? That one up there is Poddington. Ah, the little village. Oh, okay, it's yeah. right near the field. Yeah. This place here is called Harold. Uh -huh. I used to fish there years ago. Okay, so if you are passing it from the left and then and turn, over turn the top, to the next. And then onto yeah. the next heading. So now we need to go over the top. Oh, yeah. Okay. I see the yeah, big runway. Yeah, which is that? My... Uh, I don't know this place. Uh, called Bedford. That's why you got to learn these symbols. Can you see here Bedford? Ah, uh, Bedford, yeah. Okay, so Bedford has airport. Yeah. It used to be a uh, Royal Aircraft Establishment place. Ooh. But it closed down a few years ago. Or lots of years ago. Okay, so... That's it, so, so, in, so whatever your next heading is? Uh, 352. Okay, set it on your head. Okay, okay and, and so now we're heading there. It. Turn on to that one. So the APA bit, you're still nice and 2500 feet or close to. Turning onto your heading. Now, am I pointing in the right direction? I've got a town over here on the right hand side, which I expect to be Bristol. And I'm just going to move up the outside of it. So, just want to fly on the outside of this. So, it's Wellingborough? Mm -hmm. Wellingborough is that one there because it's on the left hand side. Ah, uh, okay. Does that and make sense? Yeah. We've also got a lot of water down here. Uh -huh. All this water, of course, is all this. Mm -hmm. That's a good landmark. Looking at the map, you want to fly just down the left of the west 
an outskirts of Bristol, which is what you're doing. Uh huh. So give yourself something to point out, or you that wind farm. Yeah, for wind farm. Absolutely. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, this one. So when we get to that wind farm, yes. we will be almost on there. You will. Yeah. even know this town, that's no, why no, I thought no. that it might be not town. Okay, so the wind farm is here. It yeah. would be some green up the catering. Yeah. Probably this one. That's it, so. well done. There's and I see our field, yeah? That's it, there is, yeah. There's a really big town straight uh, ahead. So with that, you'll probably need to open the map a bit more. Daventry? No. No, oh, it's because I read Daventry no. all the time. That, that Daventry you keep looking at is uh, all around here. This is all to do with the Daventry controlled oh, airspace. So Cor Corby. Yeah. It's Corby. Oh. Can it be folded?
this road, but there is a road. That's it. This is the A14. The big major road. A14. Uh, that runs all the way around the south of Kettering. And you can see that big road, it swings mm -hmm. all the way around. So this is Kettering. The old airfield is this one you can see straight ahead. Yeah, yep. we're just, just making out where the trees and the, where the runways are. They are now tree line. But that is the old airfield of Glock and Underwood. Uh -huh. When we get over that, we'll go on to the next track. 216. Okay. We still listen to us on radio, right? Yeah. Because it's quite distant. This is, yeah, this is... Golf Echo Pitch, this is 2400. This is so well. Ah, yeah. oh, OK. There's nobody working today, so we're just not just missing out. Yeah. 
sure what I need to say. It's better that I can just fly in this way, right? Yeah. Well, I'm going to take you through these places where you will have to talk to them. Mm. So I'm going to make sure you know what to say. I'll tell you what to say. If you write it down, then you've just got to learn it. Okay. Yeah. But always, when you talk to them, you always establish contact. And then, it's, in the come back partial details, you always say who you are, what you are, where you are, and what you want. So in this case, I'd say yeah, I'm a PA28 from Blast of Underwood to Tel Weston. Mm -hmm. I'm at 2,600 feet just east of Pywell. Mm -hmm. And then you say you either want joining instructions, you want to overfly, you want zone transit. Just tell them what you want. Yep. M40 Oh no, M1 
yeah, we just cross this stuff. Yeah, we are yeah. flying to cross there. And then behind it, you can see another yeah. big building with a lot of pattern pushes and motor racing stations. Mm -hmm. Or it should be behind that, uh, I think it's rain ahead, yeah? Oh, don't worry about it, you, you can see the horizon, yeah. you don't need to worry about it. Yeah, but to toaster is behind the rain. That's it, yeah. Ah, this is closer, Ah, okay, it's closer. Uh-huh. Because I see it this way, so we already here. Okay, this is some M road. Looking 
for my number. Got it. Usually hits me too, but not really? today. Yeah, 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 it's making. I'm, I, I don't suffer with hay fever, but it, it must be high because it's making me sneeze. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's very hard. All right, no worries. Nice landing, good stuff. Another turn right here, or the one mm -hmm. after, if you can make it. Yeah. Very nicely done. Good stuff. Good boy, Joint? Yes. Nice. <laughs> sure. The more you do it, the more, more confident you'll get. Mm. Very good. That was a good lesson. I'm very impressed with your height keeping and your heading keeping. That is what cross country flying is all about. Mm -hmm. This is what the beauty of this. Mm -hmm. It just gives you so many points. Yeah, there. so I, I need to find <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, my good practice of yeah. using this bug. It's very convenient. It's very handy. Let me do the after and check if it's ready. We can do here. Oh, or? yeah, do, do them here, yeah. Absolutely, okay. yeah. Where I have to yeah, no, clear up taxiway. That's fine, just stop, no problem. After this big yeah, after, after plane. The twin, yeah. Oh, okay. 